。呢啲咁奇怪嘅？系啊，呢度之前断咗嘛，而家生咗啲新嘅，好奇怪嗰啲 B B 出嚟。系。系啊，呢度就系个新嘅 B B 啦。你睇，你睇呢个新 B B， 要唔要啊？系啊，佢甩咗出嚟之后，我摆嘅。<笑>我摆嚟做细佬嚟嘅。你细佬啊？<音樂>For binary fission like bacteria, they don't have nucleus. You cannot say binary fission is the same as mitotic cell division. They are not exactly the same thing. Okay, although like amoeba, it can be mitotic cell division to have binary fission. Okay, for the genetic makeup, because it is a uh, asexual reproduction, so the genetic makeup after asexual reproduction should be identical. Okay. They are identical, so the offspring should share the same genetic makeup with their parents. So that will be binary fission. And let's go on to uh, vegetative propagation. For the details of vegetative propagation, it is in another video. Okay, so uh, which if you are my student, so you will know where the videos are. For vegetative propagation, a plant will store their food in a vegetative organ okay for like potato is a vegetative organ it's for storage of food uh, <laughs> in an unfavorable condition the shoot may be wilt so um, they wait until favorable condition appear again and when favorable condition appear again the vegetative organ will have some buds okay like this is the potato buds this is the potato buds during favorable conditions, so these buds will come out again and they will be growing and becoming a new plant. And after the plant have the leaves, they will store food in the vegetative organ again until another unfavorable condition to arrive. But please note that uh, with vegetative population doesn't mean that sexual reproduction cannot take place. Actually, uh, sexual reproduction can still take place. You can see even potato have their vegetative organ. They also have their flowers and their flowers uh, can also carry out sexual reproduction. These are the beautiful flowers of uh, the potatoes. So vegetative propagation in our textbook, usually we have four examples like the stem tubers, the rhizomes, the bulbs, and the combs. These all have different uh, examples of, of plants that will have these type of vegetative propagation. This is a potato, and this is a ginger, this is onion, and also the taro. In the textbook, it is very long, but uh, basically they are similar. Okay, in terms of uh, vegetative propagation, they're just the food storage. All these are under uh, soil. Okay, but then they are stem. Uh, vegetative propagation is not only these four types. Although these are all stem, there we can also have leaves to have vegetative propagation, and also roots. Sometimes we we'll also have uh, vegetative propagation. These parts of the plant can become another new plants. Okay, so this is kind of a reproduction method, asexually. Okay, uh, you will see like these are the advantageous roots. Okay, that is a root that is not coming out from the normal root tissues. So these are the advantageous roots that will help to absorb uh, minerals and water from soil. Uh, the key point is not only uh, those four examples in the textbook have their vegetative organs, but leaves, roots can also be the vegetative organs. All right. So okay, you need to know the examples or, or the names of the photos of different vegetative plants or vegetative organs. For the advantage is a faster method to reproduce compared to uh, sexual reproduction. Vegetative propagation is much faster than that of sexual reproduction, which require pollination and then forming flower, fruit. Those are too slow. Vegetative propagation, the bulbs come out and become a new plants directly. Okay, so it's fast method. And as it is genetically identical, 
Okay, so you can preserve some good or favorable traits that uh, the farmers would like that. Okay, so because if they grow a plant favorable traits, they will like to keep these traits and then uh, just use the regulatory propagation method, they can preserve all these favorable traits of their crops. Of course, farmers also like them to be fast growing. Okay, vegetative propagation, the problem is as the vegetative organs will be near to their parents, so they will be become more and more crowded. So it will have create a property of overcrowding near the parents, leading to competitions. And also, as again, they are genetically identical, so there will not be variations uh, in the offspring. So as there are no variations. So whenever there are certain type of disease or pest, <laughs> mm. so whenever there are certain type of diseases or pets, it will be transmitted easily because they are all the same. Okay, so they will be susceptible to the same um, pests, uh, same pathogens. So that would be the problems of having vegetative uh, propagations. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. And uh, before the end, just I uh, want to share this uh, cactus. I broke it, and uh, even though I broke it, okay, it can form new individuals of a small cactus. So that is also a type of vegetative propagation. Okay, okay, so that's it for the lesson. Goodbye, class.